All right. Uh, I decided to take a break from uh, gaming videos today, mostly because I've done a lot already, and I have not done a history video in a while. So, uh, yeah, I'm doing a history video today, and this video is about Macedonia. Anyways, in this history video, we're going to be explaining uh, the origins of Macedonia, uh, what Macedonia is like today, uh, and what a true Macedonia would look like. This is not a true Macedonia right here. It sort of is, but it's not exactly true. But we'll get into that later. Anyways, uh, let's start off with uh, the origins of Macedonia. Anyways, Macedonia... Uh, started off in somewhere in uh, 800 BC, somewhere in that, during the time when uh, Greece was split up into hundreds of city-states. Anyways, Macedonia was much different than the other Greek city-states. Uh, their culture was, uh, it was very different. It wasn't exactly Greek, and that's part of the reason why they're still here today. Mostly because they were much different. Anyways, uh, Macedonia, uh, they sort of existed for a while with the other Greek city-states. And I believe in, I think it was 300 BC, maybe 400. But somewhere around there, somewhere in the, the BC era, uh, Persia decided to start coming along and invading many of the Greek city-states, and they eventually made their way up to Macedonia. Now, the reason why Macedonia didn't get conquered by Persia is because of one man, I believe, and that was Alexander the Great. Now, it's debatable if Alexander the Great was Macedonian, or Persian, or not Persian, I mean Greek. If he was Persian, he wouldn't be fighting Persia, but... Uh, even if he was Greek, which we don't know, uh, he was a general in North Macedonia, and he was responsible for the death of the Persian Empire, and the very short-lived Macedonian Empire. Anyways, the Macedonian Empire didn't last very long at all, and it only started because uh, Alexander the Great conquered all of Persia, and uh, that did not last very long at all. I believe right after he conquered all of Persia, uh, he died. And all of the generals he fought alongside with, that uh, fought Persia with him, uh, split up the Macedonian Empire. Now, Macedonia after this is a bit of a blur, but they sort of existed for a bit, until the Punic Wars, I believe. Uh, well, I believe during this time, uh, Rome, the Roman Empire, started conquering all of Greece. And Macedonia eventually was conquered by the Roman Empire. And after this, Macedonia uh, went off the map for many centuries. Uh, after Rome fell, they would be uh, ruled by the uh, Byzantine Empire for a bit. And they went back and forth a bit between the Bulgarian Empire and the Byzantine Empire. Eventually they were owned by the Serbian Empire. But it was then retaken by the Byzantine Empire and... After the Byzantine Empire died, the Ottomans took over, and they ruled over it for a while, until the Ottoman Empire got pushed out of the Balkans. Now this is where Macedonia uh, started getting disputed. Uh, in the third, wait, after the first Balkan War, uh, the region of Macedonia was split between Serbia, Bulgaria, and Greece. Greece got... <clears throat> A bit of the southern southern regions here. Bulgaria only got a little bit of Macedonia, while Serbia got pretty much most of the whole thing. Bulgaria was very unhappy about their gains from the First Balkan War, and they wanted more. So they went to war with Serbia and Greece, and tried conquering all of Macedonia and other uh, Balkan lands. Although they unfortunately lost that war, but who knows who, who what, I can't speak what would have happened if they won, but who knows. Anyways, they got defeated, and Macedonia during the, the First World War, uh, it wasn't that good for Macedonia in the First World War. They were owned by Serbia during this time, and Serbia, Serbia got occupied 
uh, during the First World War, and so did Macedonia. The Bulgarians got it since they wanted it, and uh, that was one of the reasons why they joined the Central Powers in World War I, is for the region of Macedonia. But this history video is not about Bulgaria, so it's about Macedonia. Macedonia after the First World War would then be owned by Yugoslavia, which actually I think might have been a state within Yugoslavia. Anyways, uh, Macedonia was owned by Yugoslavia for a while, and they were sort of okay with that. Although when the Second World War came along, they would then again be owned by Bulgaria again. And, uh, well, it wasn't very good at all for World War One. They got bombed a lot by allies, by the allies and the Axis. And, uh, after World War One, Yugoslav Partisans, I believe, took over the region and they were again incorporated into Yugoslavia. Anyways, they were owned by Yugoslavia for pretty much all of the Cold War until 1991, where I believe, maybe not 1991, I don't know their Independence Day, but it was probably somewhere in the 90s, during the Yugoslav breakup. Uh, anyways, during the breakup of Yugoslavia, uh, Macedonia was one of the states to break off and they would get their independence somewhere in the 90s. It was somewhere in the 90s, probably 1991, but maybe not. Anyways, Macedonia then became independent for the first time in centuries. And it was, it was a big deal for Macedonia. Anyways, immediately after getting independence, maybe not immediately, but uh, they called themselves Macedonia despite not being all of Macedonia. Anyways, Greece had this dispute with Macedonia, and they noticed that they were calling themselves Macedonia, despite being North Macedonia. Anyways, this is known as the Macedonian naming dispute. Uh, it went from 1991 to 2000, wait, 2019, I mean. And uh, it ended with Macedonia changing their name to North Macedonia, because they are North Macedonia. Um, <clears throat> anyways, uh, let's take a look at this map. This is what the true Macedonia looks like. Anyways, as you can see, Greece owns a lot of it right here. And they are, indeed, North Macedonia. The Macedonia we have today is not all of Macedonia. Anyways, yeah. A true Macedonia would look like this. It's unfortunate that we don't have a true Macedonia, because it'd be cool if we did. And the Macedonians really just got cheated in history. They should own all of this, but... I don't know, it's disputed. Anyways, Macedonia and Greece have a lot of uh, tensions between each other. And it's unlikely that a true Macedonia will ever happen, because... Kosovo, Serbia, Albania, and Bulgaria all have Macedonian lands, and... They're, I don't think this is possible to ever happen, because they don't want to give up these lands. Anyways, the future of Macedonia is probably just going to look like this. But that's not a bad thing. North Macedonia is doing extremely well right now. They, um, they're, a very, they're a very new and developing country, but they're doing very nicely. Their economy is good, and they're not in too much of a bad situation in the Balkans. Greece and Albania I don't think like Macedonia, but Bulgaria is a good friend with Macedonia. And overall, things are looking good for North Macedonia, even if they're not going to become the true Macedonia that they should be. Anyways, uh, like I said before, uh, what was I saying? Uh, Alexander the Great. It's very debatable that he's Macedonian or Greek. No one really has the answer. But he served Macedonia, and this is my opinion, I believe he's Macedonian. Because if he was Greek, why wouldn't he have served the other Greek city-states instead of Macedonia? Anyways, yeah, he did a good job for, for Macedonia, I mean. Because the Macedonian Empire was massive. It was like all of the Persian Empire and, I think, Greece. It was good. Anyways, uh... North Macedonia achieving 
this thing right here, the true Macedonia, that they should be, is probably never going to happen. Unless some really nationalistic stuff goes on there. Like, the Macedonian nationalist awakening. awakening. That's probably not going to happen. But this is what a true Macedonia would look like. And North Macedonia is sadly not a true Macedonia. Anyways. Uh, yeah, Macedonia, they did okay throughout history. But overall, there was a lot of times where they just didn't exist on the map for a while. For like centuries. And it was uh, bad. A lot of the country's religion today is, I believe, mostly Christian. Although, during the times of the Ottoman Empire, a lot of people converted to Islam. So, there's a sort of big number of Islamic people in Macedonia. And they're sort of divided in their religious as as I cannot speak aspects. But overall, they're doing good. Anyways, uh, true Macedonia, likely never going to be achieved, but that's fine. Anyways, that's really all I have for this video today. Uh, the his history of Macedonia, uh, it's pretty cool. They got, they hit, they hit their peak with that giant empire they had a while ago. And now they're just doing okay, which is good. Anyways, uh, hopefully the true Macedonia that they want happens one day. It's probably not though, but I don't know, they can dream. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this history video. And uh, yeah, I'm cutting it off. Alright, see ya.